One, two, three, four, five. Good evening, my name is Paul Burnett, and this is Speech 101, and I'm doing my presentation for my informative speech on cancer pain. So the topics I'm going to be going over today um, are the many lives that are affected by cancer pain, the different types of cancer pain, and the treatment options, and then some other options as well. I want to start you off with a story about my, one of my, mom, my mom, not one of my moms, my, my mom, <laughs> who uh, her boyfriend was diagnosed with colon cancer. He had a softball sized tumor um, inside of him and then it actually went away, um, but then it came back about six months later and it metastasized, which it spread to his lungs. And he's no longer with us, but he dealt with a lot of pain and a lot of side effects with uh, the cancer. Um, so that's just why, kind of why I'm doing this uh, speech on. So there's 75% uh, of cancer patients deal with pain. So if you do have cancer, um, that's just one of the things that you're gonna have to deal with. Uh, 609,000 lives were lost last year in 2018 uh, to cancer. And then cancer, the lives that are affected as well are your family, your friends, coworkers, and the healthcare industry. Um, there are different types of cancer pain. You have your visceral pain, which is like your internal pain, like maybe your liver, your breast, um, colon cancers, um, just a lot of pain that's associated with it. You also have your somatic pain and your visceral pain. So your somatic pain is like your skin or your, like if you cut yourself, like on the outer, that's more somatic pain. Uh, nociceptive pain is also the same deal with uh, somatic pain. And then you have your neuropathic pain, which is like nerve damage. So if you have like a spinal cord injury or uh, something to that, that would be neuropathic pain, which you can't see it, but the patient can obviously feel it. And then you, uh, there's two different types of pain. You have your predictable pain, which is you're getting out of bed, um, you're walking around, picking up your kids, going up the stairs. Um, and then you have your incidental pain, which if it's a breast cancer patient, maybe if they sneeze, you don't really know the next time you're gonna sneeze. So if a breast cancer patient sneezes, the tumor might erupt and it's crazy pain for them. Um, and then there are some, uh, some options that we have here. We have different ways to deal with the pain and to treat the cancer. There is radiation therapy, which is very painful because they have to go on a table and receive this radiation. And then there's different awkward positions so if this is a lung cancer patient and they have to get and then they have to turn their bodies such like this, this might erupt this pain and then have this breakthrough cancer pain episode. There's also some surgical therapy, which is when they go in and cut and try to remove the tumor to, to remove the pain as well. And then there's also the medical therapy, which is like your chemotherapy, which is when they pump uh, nitrogen mustards and alkylating agents inside your body. Uh, it's kind of like poisoning the cells to kill them off and so they can reproduce new cells, and new healthy cells. Uh, so this is a, an actual diagram of a breakthrough cancer pain episode. So we have a patient that's on a long acting medication. So this is, is calming all their persistent pain throughout the entire day. But then they have these spurts that break through this line of therapy. So this could be a sneeze, this could be tripping over a curb, this could be getting out of bed, um, this could be used in the bathroom. Maybe a colon cancer patient needs to use the restroom. Um, and then, that's, and then uh, so for this, uh, you can actually be prescribed a, a medication such as an opiate or a THC derivative to deal with this pain. Um, maybe a turf product or some type of uh, hydrocodone or opana. Uh, we also have an opportunity to change your diet. Uh, and exercise more and then some patients actually do absolutely nothing because the pain is too deep and they just kind of accept the cancer and they just ultimately give up. So just to wrap things up, there are, uh, like I said, 75% of patients deal with cancer pain that have cancer. So it's, that's over three quarters of the, of the patients with cancer. 
Um, and like I said, 609,000 lives were claimed by cancer last year, so in 2018. And then that, that's my, do you guys have any questions? No? Okay. Painful.